So today I was doing that thing where I go back and watch um, some of my favorite videos on YouTube, stuff I've seen over and over again. Every few months I'll do this. And one of these videos that I like to go back and watch is Jack Pearson playing an original Flying V at Songbird's Guitar Museum. And in that video, he's tuned down to C sharp standard. And he references that he picked this up from watching an Albert King performance from the early 1970s. Of course I grabbed my guitar and played along. I noticed the band is in G and he's up here in the B flat position. I thought, oh, he's tuning his guitar down. That's why he can. Now, when you hear Jack play that flying V, it sounds incredible because it's Jack Pearson, but the tuning of that guitar really intrigued me. So I took my 335 and just dropped it down to C sharp standard and immediately I was blown away. It completely changed the feel, the sound and the character of this guitar to a, almost a different instrument altogether. Okay, so we're gonna get tuned down to C sharp standard. Now, this is not an open tuning. This is not like open E or open D or open C sharp. It's standard tuning. So everything is tuned in fourths except for the second string, which is tuned uh, a major third away. So from standard tuning, we're gonna go down to C sharp, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, C sharp. Now, because this is a standard tuning, uh, your typical chord shapes are all gonna work, but the chords themselves are different. So for example, instead of an E major, that's now a C sharp major chord. Instead of G major, this is now E major. So if you know how to transpose or you know the Nashville number system, this is a really useful tuning because you can play it with your band or on songs that you already know just by moving your chords around a little bit. So if you're playing in the key of E, for example, let's play a, a one, four, six, five in E, instead of it being, you know, one, four, six, five, it would be one, four, six, five. And there is one of the coolest things about this tuning. It immediately makes the guitar sound way different. This doesn't sound like my 335 anymore. And I have a theory as to why. And some people out there who are more informed on this than I am, please let me know in the comments. The reason pickups sound different in different positions is what part of the string they're actually picking up. Because as a string vibrates, it's not moving up and down evenly throughout the length of the string. It's creating modes and harmonics. The neck pickup being at a different position on the string is a huge factor as to why it sounds different than the bridge pickup. So by tuning the guitar down and loosening the string tension, as much as we have, we've completely changed how the strings vibrate and resonate on the guitar. The modes, the vibration modes have changed and it's kind of like you're moving the pickup position around in my mind, that's how I'm picturing it. So it's not just the tuning that's changing. It's not like you're going down from E to E flat, for example. This to me sounds like a different guitar. think like, oh, well, this is basically just a baritone. You're tuning your guitar into a baritone. And not quite, this is not quite a baritone tuning, but there's a few things that separate this from a baritone guitar. One is scale length. Baritone guitars are much longer scale than this. That has an effect on the feel and an effect on the sound. The other thing is baritone strings are a much heavier gauge than this. I've got tens on this guitar right now. The guitar feels loose and greasy and slinky. And I think that's part of the charm of this sound. It's a little more difficult to get your chords to, to be intonated and you can bend much more easily than you can in standard, which is I think a big reason why Albert King really relied on these big bends. you I can't bend in standard tuning uh, a, a perfect fourth like I can here like a <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so cool. Like there's my perfect fourth and I'm just going. And it's easy. It's, it's I'm not really having to work that hard. I would like rip the tips off of my fingers. I feel like in standard tuning. to this we should point out first of all i would recommend doing this on a guitar that does not have any kind of floating bridge or tremolo system on it uh, some kind of you know telly or like a tunematic bridge or a hardtail guitar is probably best to do this on and if you run super super low action you might start running into fret buzz and fretting out in which case you might need to do a quick like neck adjustment or action adjustment to get your guitar uh, set up for this. I think part of the charm of this tuning is the sort of slinky, greasy, slightly out of tune, loose sound that you get when you just take a guitar that is set up and strings that are designed for standard tuning and you drop them down a minor third. I think that is the sound. And I do want to point out that, yes, I know metal guys that might be watching this are probably rolling their eyes saying like, oh God, yeah, he's he's just discovered low tuning. Yes, I get it, but this is different. The bridge is not set up for it. The pickups are not set up for it. And therein lies the charm of this sound. It's incredibly fun to play with effects. I've got a fuzz and uh, a delay here on my board. And just listen to how cool this sounds with some vibey delay on it. I think that's so cool. Uh, and then check out this fuzz. So this is the Hephaestus uh, from my friend Zach's company, Mythos. This is basically a Jordan boss tone fuzz, but this knob here controls uh, something about the voltage. And it has a super weird quirk where as you turn that voltage down, you get this natural sub octave, like the sub harmonic thing happening. And I'm interested to see what it'll do with this low tuning, so. <laughs> It's like my amp won't even go that low. To me, it makes that fuzz sound different and respond different. I really think that this tuning is doing something to the guitar sound that I'm used to and it's changing it. It's making it more, for me, more inspiring to play. It's it's a quick way to bust out of ruts in my playing. As soon as I, you know, tune down and, you know, pull up an interesting kind of sound with a delay pedal or something, you can get real vibey real fast. sharp standard tuning you should try it out seriously grab any one of your guitars don't worry about changing the strings don't worry about you know changing the setup or anything just drop it down a minor third and i think you're going to be surprised by the results i certainly was i absolutely love this i might actually just leave this guitar in c sharp standard let me know what you thought about this tuning and this video in the description box down below if you want more information on any of the video courses that we have available you can find that in the description box down below as well as that jack pearson video that sort of inspired me to try this i'm a huge fan of jack pearson i made a whole video on him last year that's linked down below as well. Anyways, my name is Retchel. Thank you so much for watching and have fun with this.